What's going on YouTube? John from JohnnyTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the number one email marketing software you should be using with ClickFunnels, okay? But before we get into that, definitely subscribe, hit that alert button, uh, leave any comments down below if you have them while you're watching the video. Um, and check out my Instagram, at JohnnyTheMarketer, and check out my blog, blog.JohnnyTheMarketer.com. Let's get into it. All right, so on your screen right now, you see my ClickFunnels account, and it's I, I want to actually bring this video to you because there's so many people out there who um, get started with ClickFunnels, but they don't know what email software they should be using. Should they be using Actionetics? Should they be using MailChimp? Which I hate MailChimp. Do not use MailChimp. Uh, and this is why I made the video. Now, um, the number one email software for ClickFunnels, in my opinion, and it's something that I use every single day, I've been using it for years, and it has not failed me once, is ActiveCampaign. Now, ActiveCampaign is an absolute monster when it comes to automations and also it's just really really easy to use so let's actually go into my active campaign account so right here's my active campaign account currently uh, and you can see that the interface is very very simple easy on the eyes it's not much color not many confusing points of it okay I'm gonna show you the exact basics of what you need to look out for when it comes to active campaign and also how to set that up and integrate it with your ClickFunnels account so let's actually just give you a rundown of active campaign itself like I said it's a massive automation and I actually have a video uh, showing you about uh, how to use active campaign for automations and I can actually show you in this video as well just a quick little rundown on how that works but it really is killer now the one thing that I would highly recommend is once you get your setup that you start setting up some automations okay so and I'm going to show you actually let me just show you how to uh, and click funnels how to set it up first and then I can go into the automation part of it all right so when you get signed up for active campaign if you don't have an active campaign account all you have to do is click the link down below get your access uh, to it so you can start following following along as I go through this process but what you want to do is you want to go to your settings okay and then once you are in your settings you want to look for an area or a um, on the left hand side here it should say developer okay so click on developer and all you need to do at this point right now is go back into your ClickFunnels account. It's very, very simple. And then once you're in your ClickFunnels account, you want to go to integrations. And then once you are in integrations, this is where you're going to connect your ClickFunnels, uh, your active campaign account. Now you can see here that I already have my active campaign account connected, but I can show you anyway. All you have to do is click on add new integration. And then once you click on add new integration, just search for active campaign. It should be the first one. Uh, if not, just search up here in the search box and then click on active campaign and that's pretty much it now what we're gonna do is give it a name you can just say um, active campaign testing right and then what you want to do is go back into your active campaign account and now what you want to do is copy over the URL okay so you're just gonna right click copy the URL come back to click funnels and then in the second box or the third box where it says API URL that is where you're gonna paste it okay so one thing to keep in mind is that it's reversed, right? So at an active campaign, it says API URL, API key, but in ClickFunnels, it says API key, API URL. So it's reversed, so you just gotta keep that in mind that you don't place these things in the wrong area. Once you put in your URL, you wanna copy the key. So just click on copy, and then you're gonna go and paste that key there, and that's all you have to do. You just click on add integration, and boom, it's connected, okay? Now, once you have this connected within your account, you're gonna be able to connect it with your funnels. Now, before we get into that, I wanna make sure that you create a list first uh, within Active Campaign. So, what you wanna do is go into your Active Campaign account, and then um, once you're at the main dashboard, make sure you save the settings as well once you uh, copy and paste just in case. And once you're in your main dashboard, just click on list, okay? And the point of a list is to actually add people to that list once they start opting into our in our funnels, right? We want to put those people into a particular place, right? And that's going to be an active campaign once they opt in, give give us their uh, you know their name, their email address, or any other information. We want to put that inside of active campaign. So all you're going to do is click on add new list, and you're going to put testing, and then you want to put the URL of your website there. And then what I like to do is I actually have a, a note here that I include every single time so that when people opt in they and they're reading my emails and they, they know why they're on my particular list. So I, I always always go back and go back to my notepad and I have a section called active campaign notes and then I can just copy and paste this uh, little message here that says you're receiving 
um, this because you know you subscribe and I could put this in the description for you guys as well so you guys have this and you can use this for yourself so just make sure you're changing out this URL here so put the URL that you are running traffic to and then create list okay once you have that list created we're pretty much good to go and we can start using active campaign within click funnel so what you want to do is you want to go to your funnel I'm gonna go into my uh, test funnel that I have set up here um, and I'm gonna click on edit page okay once we have active campaign integrated ClickFunnels makes it really, really easy for us to connect our list. And I can, I can tell you that I've never had one issue when it came to the API integration. Uh, I used, Like I said, I used to work at ClickFunnels, so I know all of the integrations and what issues are which. And I can honestly say that ActiveCampaign had the least amount of problems and tickets coming into ClickFunnels when it came to email automation. MailChimp always had uh, always had issues. Um, and FutureSoft, don't even get me started with that. Drip. Uh, ConvertKit, all those programs always had some type of issue, but Active Campaign is the one program that had the least amount of issues when it came to tickets and people using it. And personally, for me using it, I've never had an issue where like people are not going and being added to my list. If that were the case, it was just user error, right? It was my fault. Maybe I didn't connect the list to ClickFunnels, right? So this is how you do it. All you need to do is go into your settings area go to integrations, right? And then all you have to do is click on the integration, right? Click on active campaign, click on the action that you want to give. I recommend doing add to list. I wouldn't recommend add to list with tag just because that gives more fault. And I can show you in a second why uh, I wouldn't do that. Um, and you know, the workaround that I do so that you guys can add tags to people who get added to the list. I just click on add to list and then you select the list from the dropdown. If you don't see your list from here, just click refresh list from API and then your list should appear here, okay? So I'm just going to select a random list here and boom, it says connected. Make sure it's green. There's a green box. It says connected. Otherwise, you're going to have major, major issues. OK, and then you just click on save. You save your page and boom, you're done, right? That's it. And then once people opt into your page, they're going to get added to that specific list and then you can start sending them automation. Now, you're probably thinking, how do I add tags to people in active campaign if you're not going to add the tags in ClickFunnels? I'll show you that really, really quickly. What I like to do is I like to add tags within my automations. OK, so for example, what I do um, is set up essentially two different automations. One, when the tag gets added and then a second automation when that person uh, gets added to the tag, then they receive the emails. OK, so let me just give you an example of this uh, sequence. OK, so you see here it says BAJ beta tag added and then this is says BAJ beta um, pur purchase email automation, right? So this is the tag where the automation is actually adding the tag. OK, so let me click on this. So you guys can see what I mean. So I set up an automation that says contact subscribes to list, right? And this is the list that they're, you know, in ClickFunnels, the list that we, we added, they're going to subscribe to that list. Okay. So this is what triggers the automation. As soon as they get added to this specific list, that is when we add the tag. Okay. So all you have to do to do this is just click on the new, the plus icon. And then all you have to do is go to contacts and then, uh, click on subscribe. Okay. So you subscribe to the list and then you click on save and then you add another plus and then it's going to add a tag, right? So you click on that and then you click add tag and then you give the name. That's really it. It's a two step process. Boom. That's it. Right? So once they get that tag added, what happens, uh, is we actually send out the automation in another automation. Okay. Um, and that is the purchase, this one, the, the, the VAJ beta purchase email automation. Okay. For example, so how this starts is when that tag is added, right? So we added the tag in the previous automation. So now this new automation, we're triggering it based on when that tag has been added. So the tag is added and then we are able to send the email. Um, so boom, the tag is added and then we, we, um, we send the email. That's it. That's all we do in terms of our automations. And then we can do wait one day and then send another email, wait another day, send another email. Very easy. Just do the uh, condition of workflows, click on wait, wait for a specific period of time, wait for one day, click on save, and then add another one that says, uh, after that one day's waited, uh, send an email. Right. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Very, very simple. And this process guys has saved me so much time. So many, uh, uh, issues averted because active campaign a is an automation monster and click funnels just makes it really really easy to connect the uh, the list and then in active campaign we're able to once that person subscribes to the list add the tag and then add the automations that go along with that tag okay guys so i hope this made sense if it didn't i have a more in-depth video talking about this whole entire process so go check that video out but this is why i love active campaign for click funnels because 
again, it, it will save you so much headaches, so much time once you set it up, and it's very, very simple. I did this within like about five minutes, and you can do this in five minutes as well. It's very, very easy. And you don't have to worry about any issues happening because Active Campaign is really, really reliable and it's probably the best. I will never leave Active Campaign uh, because I just know it really well and it's super, super easy. And I just like how the functionality um, goes along with ClickFunnels. Okay, so I recommend it. Click the link down below if you want to get access to Active Campaign and start using it for your funnels. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I can answer them because more than likely, if you have a question and someone else has that same question, so ask those questions questions in the, in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed give me a big thumbs up if you like this video check me out check me out on instagram at jelani the marketer check out my blog blog .com. thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one